the last of their kind. Fatu and Najin, the only female northern white rhinos in the world, are under round-the-clock surveillance in this sanctuary in central Kenya. Sudan, the last male, died in 2018. When these animals came to this country, it was envisaged that they would breed naturally. Now close to 10 years, really, um, we began then thinking of what is the best artificial means of uh, recovering these species. Scientists are using IVF, in vitro fertilization, a procedure that's never been tried before with wildlife. Using preserved sperm from deceased bulls and eggs harvested artificially from Fatu and Najin, they've created pure northern white rhino embryos. It's a process that is, has not been simple because it being novel, it means every stage of the way has to be proven, has to be reviewed, has to be accepted by the scientific community as a procedure that is not intrusive, as a procedure you know, that is ideal and does not put the animal at risk. For two, Energin cannot carry a pregnancy to full term. One is infertile, the other two old. So a surrogate southern white rhino will be used. These female rhinos are the candidates of this procedure. They have to be monitored regularly. Scientists that we're talking to say it has been a long journey to get this right. Zakaria Mutai takes care of the endangered species as well as black rhinos that roam all Pejeta. He says the cows are ready for the embryos to be implanted. We want to do, is, uh, to do it as natural as possible because for the surrogate mothers, we don't want to give them the hormonal injection. It might create some problem. So we had to do a vasectomy on a southern white and a male to act as a teaser bull. So when it started mounting in any of the females, we know this is the best time of doing the first implantation. Rhinos are under threat because poachers hunt them for their horns. The northern white subspecies was wiped out in South Sudan, Uganda, and other parts of Central Africa decades ago. Conservationists have spent years on this research, and finally it's bearing fruit. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Al Pejeta Conservancy in Central Kenya.